Great Minds Robotics sent three teams to a first LEGO League qualifier at La Cañada Flint Ridge. Their A-team scored big at the end of the day, and we've got footage coming up next. But first, here's a little primer on the FLL Challenge and what you're about to experience. Every year, First LEGO League challenges children to contemplate and solve real-world problems based on a theme. This year's theme is the food factor, and it includes everything farming, fishing, and food delivery, the contamination cleanup and pollution reversal. The kids get a crack at solving these problems by completing tasks laid out on an official playing field. They solve them with LEGO NXT robots that they design, build, and program, and they do it without directions from their adult coaches. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Robot Challenge. It lasts only 2 minutes and 30 seconds, so careful planning is required to get the most problems solved in that tiny bit of time. The A-Team looked at all the problems, then they designed, built, and programmed the robot to solve them. Their success was measured with points awarded along the way. Here's how they plan to score. First off, they're going to use the robot to go fishing. This may look easy at first, but there's a twist. They're only allowed to catch the big fish, and they have to do it without moving the baby one off its mark. Those fish are really close together. After they fish, they're going to try and reverse the pollution in the water. This blue ball represents the pollution, and it needs to be knocked out of the lake. Next up is removing nasty vermin from our shipping ports. The A-Team has to catch a rat. This area has two challenges in one. First, they have to get that rat off the ramp and out of the shipyard. If things go well with that, the team plans to immediately move on to hauling the trailer. The A-Team is looking to grab this refrigerated trailer and get it safely to their base. Now their plans get even more daring. Our team will opt for the big gamble by delivering the loaded trailer back to the dock. If they were able to score points earlier by fishing and moving that trailer back to the base, they're going to put all those points at risk right now. Take a look here. To win the big gamble, they have to deliver the trailer and get it into the dock. And not only must it be in the dock, they have to get the trailer wheels past this white line. The last part of the A-Team's plan involves clever maneuvering to empty the dispenser. They want to empty this dispenser by moving the lever highlighted here. And their final action will be to go the distance. Okay, now that you know the plan, it's time to watch the Great Minds Learning Center's A-Team in action. Here we go! Oh, the robot's hung up. Off to a rough start. They were able to grab it before it left the base. That's good. He's going to let it go again. Time for the fish. Sweeps the big three and only grazes the baby one. It stayed on its mark. That's good. Those fish are back in the base. That's a potential nine points. If those fish are still there at the end of the round, they score nine. All right, these guys are changing attachments. They're allowed to do that in the base. I see a front loader on there and a fork. What could that be for? Uh, it looks like they're going to do about three things. They're going to reverse the heavy metals pollution in the lake. They're going to get a wrap off the ramp in the dock. And they're going to bring the contaminated refrigerated trailer back to the base for cleaning. Let's see if they can do it. Here we go. Pollution reverse. That's four points. All right, going. There's the rat. It is into the bucket. And they grab the trailer with a fork. This is awesome. They're bringing them both. That rat was worth 15 points. And the contaminated trailer in the base for 12 points. All right, they're switching things out, and now they're going to go for a big gamble. What they're going to do is give up those 9 points for the fish and the 12 points for the contaminated trailer. They cleaned it out. They're putting fish back into the clean trailer. They're putting in meat. They're putting the trailer right there on the robot for delivery. They're going to take it back to the dock. All right, he's moving things out of the way. Again, these guys are allowed to touch this robot only in the base. They're setting it up. Make sure it's right. He's about to press the button to let it go. There goes the robot. Got the trailer on it. They're moving. There's the dock. All right, it pulls in. The trailer is unloaded into the dock. Nice. Oh, and a little push to get it past the white line. Now they're going over to the dispenser. They're going to empty it by hitting the lever. That's it. And the robot goes the distance as well. It all happened really fast, but the big gamble paid off. They risked 21 points because they took the fish and the trailer out of their base. But by cleaning that trailer, putting the fish in it, putting the meat in it, 
and bringing it all the way to the dock, they scored 38 points. Then when they moved on, they disinfected that dispenser, scored seven points, and then went the distance with the robot by hitting the far wall and got an additional nine. Now here's a little bit of extra awesomeness. It turns out the A-team scored bonus points. FLL awards teams by giving them points for only touching the robot when it's inside the base. They almost lost points at the beginning of the round, but the team leader was fast enough to grab the robot before it was too late. Let's see. Oh, wow. For all of that, they got 72 additional points. They got all those points because they did not touch the robot outside the base. That brings their total score up to 145. That is the highest score recorded today, and it was awarded to Great Minds Learning Centers, the A-Team. Fantastic, excellent work.